Hey everyone, let's talk about Terra Luna Burn. Now, one of the ex-developers of Terra Luna actually came forward and talked about this. So really, really important. I just realized Terra Money V2 is not a fork. It's a brand new network with fresh state, no market, treasury, oracle, and wasm. This was posted on May 17th. If you guys want more content like this, be sure to smash that like button. Terra Classic will probably burn Luna Classic and the Ripper Terra provides a positive future for Luna. So we kind of uh, saw this first. We kind of saw this a long time ago, researching everything of Terra Luna fork of Cosmos. Like a lot of people have been asking us to basically burn a percentage. A burn percentage has been asked for a long time. And if you guys want more content like this, be sure to smash that like button. Huge shout out to Zaka Signals for finding this tax burn 1.2 percent of all transactions and we also see upwith was considering burning 240 bitcoin of commissions for a relevant period to make what happened during the luna dip so uh he found some pretty pretty crazy stuff about the transaction fees and it seems like a bit even wanted to burn the luna itself a bit will not decide on the use and method of luna classic transaction fees but will form a separate committee made of internal ex experts to discuss it so all fees incurred from Luna Classic transactions will be stored in wallet below. So we could be seeing huge, huge burns. Still a huge amount of Luna Classic could be burnt. So this links into some of the other points with exchange. So exchanges could be in fact burning uh, lots and lots of Terra. A lot of people have been asking about 1.2% burn. To distribute 3568 requires proposal 4095. Enable staping delegation to pass due to distribution issues. Still needs 2.66% of votes. Uh, and is either stake Luna 1 owners to vote and at a minimum to vote to abstain for its meet to its quorum to pass. Since 3568 is passed, which um, I'm guessing that code may be rolled into the code 4095, which means enabling staking delegation. Uh, proposal 4080, parameter changes to distribution models have already passed. So we are slowly but surely seeing the burn building up. A lot of you guys don't understand what this means, but it basically means that we're going to be seeing more of Terra Luna content pretty much soon and more of Terra Luna burns. If you guys want to be kept up to date, this got passed as a 90% for re-enable staking delegation to existing active validator set, which basically is another method to get Terra Luna burning, right? These need to pass to get to burn Terra Luna. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to burn 1.2% Terra. But exactly, you know, 4095 actually re-enable staking our delegation to existing active validator set only. Which means for a period of 60 days, the ability to create new validators will remain disabled until block height. Uh, new validators can be created only after a block height. Uh, so there's lots and lots to know about this. Success delegation, this will start the chain effect where we can implement these other proposals. We've already stated in the previous videos that the 1.2% tax on all transactions is something that we will need to manually force exchanges to do. It's so a lot of exchanges, we need to convince a lot of these exchanges to do these type of burns and I definitely wanna see them. What do you guys think about the burns? Let me know down in the comments below as well. A couple days of trading volume, what this- Like if a bit wants to burn 240 billion, uh, Bitcoin, sorry, that's going to be huge, huge news again. Distribute 50% transaction fees to the community pool plus increase proposal validator awards. You can see here, turn out 60%, 95% voted for yes. Like everything is getting ready and planned. The community pool fees, then we can go to these big exchanges and say 1.2% tax on all the transactions. If sites such as Upbit are already doing this themselves and Binance have already publicly supported a burn and redistribution model, I am more than positive that these large exchanges who really work for their communities, not for individual projects or CEOs, that's the only reason why these exchanges, which are businesses. So if we see that, a few shout out to Zaka Signals for doing this research, but if Upbit is committed to burning lots and lots of Terra Luna Classic, uh, it's going to be huge for lots and lots of holders. And that's exactly what we wanted to see lots and lots of burns but if you guys want more content like this i'll keep you guys updated with more news again really awesome stuff right now if we can get exchanges to agree to get more burns that would definitely be incredible till next time peace everyone